In this second tutorial, we will describe how to enter dental arch form measurements and then search the stored catalog for those arch wires that most closely match them. Think of this application as simply a single catalog listing most of the world's orthodontic preformed arch wire vendors. The search form is divided into four data entry sections. The first section, we enter dental arch form measurements, width and depth, as well as orthodontic bracket height. The second section is for vendor selection. In the third section, users determine the range of width differences to display to the user. The program can display values for all arch wires screened, or it can be instructed to show only those arch wires that differ from dental arch forms by a specified amount. The last section allows users to restrict display to nickel-free materials. This is for those patients at risk of hypersensitivity reactions. We will start by entering the dental arch depth and width for the canines and first molars from our type of dent patient being treated in the first tutorial. The arch depth was 9 millimeters at the canines and 33 millimeters at the first molars. The interarch widths were 39 millimeters and 58 millimeters for the canine and first molars, respectively. We also need to enter average bracket height. Here we will keep the default height at 1 millimeter. Next, we will select those arch wire manufacturers we anticipate using for treatment. In this case, let us select Highland and Unitech. In the third section, we instruct the application to show results for all Highland and Unitech arch wire types. Finally, we leave the nickel-free checkbox empty. Hitting the Submit key sends the form to the website for processing. Findings are displayed on the results page. Looking at this page, we first see that these two vendors manufacture a total of 16 different preformed arch wire shapes. The Highland arch wire product names are Broad, Youth, Natural, Natural Midsize, Progressive, and Progressive XL. Unitech arch wires are the Orthoform series, named 1 for tapered, 2 for square, and 3 for ovoid. Notice that Highland's Natural Midsize and Progressive XL are not a coordinated pair, but are single arch wires. All other wire products in our sample have coordinated upper and lower arch forms. Let me explain the purpose for the different row colors. Green means a particular arch wire product has both intercanine and interfirst molar widths that differ from the dental measurements by no more than plus or minus 4 millimeters. Purple rows mean the absolute arch width differences are greater than 4 millimeters but less than 8.1 millimeters for at least one measurement. A red row means at least one arch form width difference has an absolute value of greater than 8 millimeters. Positive values mean the arch wire is wider than the dental width. A negative value means the arch wire width is less than the dental width. Let us begin our selection by sorting the arch wires by intercanine width. Assuming our treatment goal is to maintain the presenting canine and first molar positions, let us now restrict the width differences to be at most plus or minus 4 millimeters. We do this by filling out the dental and arch wire width differences section of the search and results form. We now hit the submit key and refresh the screen. Notice that the purple and red rows are no longer displayed. Also, six different arch wires from Highland and Unitech meet our search criteria. Assuming we wish to keep the canine and first molar widths unchanged as much as possible, which of the six preformed arch wires should we select for this particular patient? 
Because these are nickel titanium wires, we would like to find those needing little if any customization. Also, we will accept only with differences of at most 2 millimeters, or 1 millimeter per side for both the canine and first molar. With this in mind, let us now enter these new search values into the search form. We now have only two arch wires to select from. A Unitec Orthoform 2 and a Highland Natural. Both are upper arch wires. Let us try a second case. Before ordering either of these arch wires, we fit a rubber facial mask over a typodont patient. You notice an unesthetic wide buccal corridor and decide to change your treatment plan. In the new treatment plan, we keep the canines in place but expand the posterior segment by at least 2 millimeters and at most 5 millimeters per side. Let us enter these new arch wire and dental width differences. The canine width differences remain the same, but to expand the first molars, we increase the arch wire width by 4 millimeters and 10 millimeters. The results page shows neither Highland nor Unitec have any arch wires meeting our conditions. Let us try searching the entire catalog. Three vendors have preformed arch wires meeting our treatment goals American Orthodontics, GNH, and Armco. We decide on using the American Orthodontic Natural Arch Form 2 Upper because it is the only arch wire with a lower coordinating arch wire. This concludes two clinical examples of using the search capabilities of the Arch Wire Select web application.